Hi, I'm Peter J. Ray. Today's topic is the Cleveland Museum of Art. Here in Cleveland, Ohio, also known as Cleveland City of Champions, there are many amazing places to visit, such as First Energy Stadium, where the Cleveland Browns play NFL football, Progressive Field, where the Indians play Major League Baseball, the Christmas Story House from the movie, Quicken Loans Arena, where the Cavs play NBA basketball, the Botanical Garden, which has a cement baobab tree, the Museum of Contemporary Art, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, Severance Hall, where the Cleveland Orchestra performs fine classical music, Playhouse Square, outside of which is the largest outdoor chandelier in the world. The Great Lakes Science Center, where you can practice your baseball pitching speed. The Cleveland History Center, also known as the Western Reserve Historical Society, which has the Bob Hope exhibit. The Greater Cleveland Aquarium. The Cleveland Metro Parks Zoo. The Cleveland Metro Parks, which includes the Rocky River Valley, wonderful park, the Natural History Museum, the Maltz Museum of Jewish Heritage, the Beck Center in Lakewood, the James A. Garfield Home in Metter, the Cultural Gardens on Rockefeller Drive, the steamer William G. Mather Maritime Museum, the USS Cod Submarine Museum, the National Cleveland Style Polka Hall of Fame and Museum. The Rutherford B. Hayes Home in Fremont, Ohio, which is near. The William McKinley Presidential Library and Museum in Canton, Ohio, also near. The Pro Football Hall of Fame in Canton as well. Lakeview Cemetery, where many famous people are buried, including John D. Rockefeller, one time the richest man in the world. The Empty Nest Vintage Store in Lakewood. The Free Stamp Statue in downtown Cleveland. The Soldiers and Sailors Monument, dedicated to the men who served in the Civil War. The Terminal Tower, and finally Public Square. But of all of these amazing places, in my opinion, if I had to choose one, one place, the best place to visit in Cleveland, if I had a date, it would be the Cleveland Museum of Art. Today we will take a poetic tour through 24 sites from the Cleveland Museum of Art, and I hope you enjoy the, enjoy the show. The Cleveland Museum of Art is an amazing place. You'll be in awe. I'll see it on your face. The atrium is really, really nice. You can get some food with or without spice. <laughs> George Washington was a very brave man. During dangerous battles he never ran. Staggett Sharkies is powerful art. You fall in love from the start. The Armor Court Long ago war, so much there, no need for more. This Japanese guy sure looks tough. You could say he had the right stuff. Here's, here's Nimrod from ancient Iraq. He's a guy who'd have your back. This lion sure seems strong. Fighting him, it wouldn't matter if he was wrong. Ancient China was pretty rough. This guy was around to say, that's enough. Jesus Christ taught us all to love. We really can conquer by being a dove.
In this arm were bones of a saint. We can all be saints. Don't say you can't. Water lilies by Monet, what a peaceful sight. A nice place to sit, if you've had a fright. The time of Noah, just before the flood, when the whole world turned to mud. Clouds and fields and a crossroads. Look closely. There may be some toads. <laughs> In Tahiti, Paul Gauguin decided to live. The people there had something to give. The poplars at, at St. Remy. Vincent van Gogh, it's hard to tell if the wind is going to blow. Apollo was known as the god of light. It would appear that he possessed some might. This lady seems a bit sad. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe she's glad. Polyhymnia striking a pose. Perhaps we should give her a rose. Now this gal doesn't seem to have a clue. No, that was wrong. Let's give her her due. Vincent van Gogh, the large plane trees. Looks like winter, we're gonna freeze. Cupid and Psyche, what a fine pair. Cupid looks like he doesn't have a care. Victor Schreckengast, a master with clay. The New Yorker jazz ball, he worked night and day. Lord Shiva, the dancing god. Very ancient, really not mod. Well, that concludes our poetic tour of the Cleveland Museum of Art. Some of the highlights based on postcards I purchased in the museum store. And if you live in Cleveland or are visiting Cleveland and have some time, you might consider visiting the Cleveland Museum of Art. Thank you so much for joining us today. Live long and prosper. May the force be with you. God bless you. God bless the Philippines, America, and the whole world.